Hello guys, today we will see how to emit smoke from the flakes and also learn how to create lines. So let's get started. Take a trail node and here we have to choose uh, connect as polygons and in the trail length we will keep it to 4 turn off this close row so now we will have polygon lines and here in the trail increment we will keep this as 0 0.33 so we will have something like this if you go here then we will have this will be our flex and this will be our trail lines and now uh, take attribute delete node since we don't want all this attribute we only need k frame velocity and rest attribute so we will delete non selected and here we will choose k frame rest and velocity we only need a three and then we can add a very sample node we can keep the length value to 0 0.002 so now we will have a decent amount of points and now we can add attribute for angle and we will write a uh, code for adding temperature and density attribute density is equal to pit frame at the rate k frame comma at k frame plus 16 3 comma 0 now if i preview density or density will look like this we can add color attribute to our polygon with the help of density attribute we will have a nice visualization of the density and then we can also add the temperature attribute so our temperature will also look like same like density and now we can add some randomization in the velocity attribute velocity is currently straight so we need to add some call noise to it so let's add it using point velocity node and here in the point velocity uh, set it to from attribute and in the attribute name we will keep velocity and we have to reduce the scale by 90% so I will keep 0 0.1 here and in the call noise click on this add call noise and set the scale to 0 0.1 so now if you see we will have something like this and we can reduce the swirl scale as well that's it and now we can take volume rasterize attribute before adding attributes to it we will reduce the voxel size to 0 0.0001 and the particle scale to 0 0.002 and then we will connect this and add our attribute all at once first we will add density temperature and velocity then i will keep it to auto update we can take a pyro solver node 
before adding solver let's cast this out so we don't have to calculate the source on every frame so my smoke source have been cached and it took around 25 minutes and the, the cache is also too heavy as you can see on this frame the cache is around 3 4.3 gb it was a good step to cache this out or else it would have taken ages to simulate the smoke so now uh, let's take a pyro solver node first we need to reduce the voxel size to 0 0.005 uh, or else we can keep this the same if you have a good pc i will do the simulation on this voxel only on the bound since our character is moving forward if the padding will be this much then the bound will get too much big so i will reduce it to 0.05 sourcing tab we can keep the density source scale to 1.1 and the temperature source scale to 0.1 we don't need flame since we are not emitting fire and in the velocity we can keep the source scale to 0.25 in the field we can reduce the dissipation to 0.45 go in the save tab and reduce the Beyonce force to 0.15 so that our smoke will not go too much up it will be like lingering smoke kind of thing and here in the turbulence tab turn on this and keep the value to 0.3 and here in the noise type we will choose analytic simplex noise and adjust the soil size according to your need uh, the value which i found while doing the r d was these values uh, soil size was around 0.2 and the pulse length was around 0.18 add some seed value the noise seed and you can keep the octave to four and the rest everything you can keep it default only in the output tab you can turn on the all of this if you will play our smoke will emit like this and simulation will be also pretty fast because we are using sparse solver so the only thing will take time is to read back this cache node because the cache is too heavy so it will take time increase the density scale to 10 since we want some dense smoke to it and here uh, we need to add some vortex micro solver as well take a gas vortex confinement node and connect it to advection output go on the first frame so it won't cook increase the confinement scale to 2 and take another gas turbulence node merge both of this here also we will use same noise analytics simplex noise and the scale will be 0 0.265 and our soil size will be 0 0.4 and pulse length will be 1.5 so our noise will change rapidly and here we you can add some seed value to it and keep the turbulence value to 4 now uh, we just need to do a final thing by taking a gas 
और एंगल नोड वी विल एड नॉइस वेलोसिटी बेस ऑन द लेंथ ऑफ वेलोसिटी लेंथ एट वेल इट इज लेस देन जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन देन इट वेल इज इक्वल टू वी विल एड कॉल नॉइस टू इट बेस ऑन इट्स पोजिशन डाटा एड अनदर फाइल कैश नोड एंड स्टिमुलेट दिस Let's save it to disk. Uh, so my uh, smoke sim has been cached, and it's look like this. Mm -hmm. So here, first we have to take enumerate node, and we have to add ID attribute. so now we have id attribute here and now we have to take a blast node and we have to write this at k frame is greater than dollar f then we will have this output here and then we can take a attribute blur node and we can blur our position by 4% and we have to turn off this as well so now we will have something like this before it was like this now it is like this now we can take a divide node and we have to remove this turn on this remove shared I just now, if you see, it will remove the inside faces. Now take a primitive property node, go in the face hull, and here turn on this unroll with new points. So now this will create a polylines to it. now we can take another divide node and connect it on the enumerate and if you see this divide node isolate the ear uh, teeth part we can take a attribute for angle and we have this data here as well so we can remove this uh, lines based on this data so to do that we can write this simple code we will use find attribute value from the first input of the attribute or angle and the attribute will be a point attribute and the name will be id and we have to find the same attribute on our uh, zero input as well and if is is not equal to negative 1 then we will remove the point now if i turn on this you can see this are getting deleted now we can use a curve node now take a measure node and we will calculate the perimeter so it will look like this now we can remove the uh, lines which are extremely small so to do that we can take a blast node and we can write at perimeter greater than 0 and here we can select delete non selected and then we can add resample node to increase the point count and then we can add with attribute for the 
rendering purpose. So now if I add a So um, currently the width attribute is too big, we can reduce it. Yeah. I think this look good. So this will be our lines. We can add normal here. this kind of lines here so we don't need this part uh, so we will render this curve as a uh, tube and for the uh, rendering purpose you can take my file from patreon it will have all the um, shaders and everything and it is for Arnold uh, so it won't work on mantra so thank you guys for watching see you in the next tutorial if you like this tutorial make sure to hit the like and subscribe button you can support me on patreon as well